Hey guys, uh, Mike here, and it's October 5th. <laughs> I just plugged in that porch light is acting up. I gotta adjust it somehow. So anyways, I got the siding all on, and the windows and doors all trimmed out, porch light on. I got a, it's one of those light sensitive ones. I guess I gotta read the directions. That's some extra decking material from the decks I did next door so i just got some more material delivered so tomorrow's deck day so anyways i got the understructure all done so oh i think it's motion i gotta adjust the light anyways so pretty good a lot of angles and hey let's get every freaking tool out Jeez, you can tell mike worked here it's like an obstacle course <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, we got the table saw, the chop saw, the choke of the truck, jigsaw, <laughs> tools way over there. Anyway, so that's what it is. Ooh, ah, so, it's, I don't know, it's like 4.15ish, so. Yeah, that's motion like that's got to go. I got to turn that thing off. So, talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, Mike here, uh, November 7th. I got the month right anyways. Anyways, I got the deck done. And um, so now I just gotta finish caulking and um, make some gutters for this side because it never had it and, and reinstall the one on this side. So anyways, looks pretty good. Nice and straight. So. I didn't wash it off or anything, but ooh, look at that. So anyways, so tomorrow is caulking day, gutter day, clean up all the mess day. So, and then um, just some piddly things and then I'm going to hit the back side of the house. Oh boy, it's tall, it's long, and it's bowed. So anyways, talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys, Mike here, November 13th. So, I've been working on the fascia board. That's the color green trim it's going to be. So, kind of sanded these posts and primered them. So, pretty much, I got to make some gutters and put them on here and some downspouts down these posts. But today, it's supposed to be good weather. Today, this is what I get to attack <laughs> this big, long ass wall. So, Anyways, got, I'm going to change that window out with a new one and pretty much all these windows. Going to make a new access door, not in front of that gas line. I'm going to put it over there so you can get into, have to go around that panel. So when I get in the eve, I'm going to have to put a strap or something to hold that line so I can undo the clamps and tear off the siding and go behind it. And then I'm gonna fill in this hole, this chicken wire. They used to have like a root cellar in here. So they used to put their canned goods, granted it's 1936 house. So that's gonna be filled in. That was some vent or something that's gonna be gone. Um, that first window on the left, that's gonna be taken out and moved up with a three by four window. And the second window is gonna be filled in. And got two dryer vents, only using one, so one's going to be gone. And then that's an access door that I'm going to put another one. So, anyways, got a bunch of junk. 
Gotta redo that vent. And... So today we're ripping the siding. This wire right here. I don't know what that's for. <laughs> so that's going. And then this plug, I'm gonna recess that in the wall and probably put it down there. So, anyways, get rid of this cable mess from cable guys that just decided they just want to just put it anywhere. So, need to be slapped. So, anyways, got my work cut out for me. Sorry about the Blair Witch project. So, talk to you later. Sighting's gonna be gone today. Bye. Okay guys, November 13, about 11.30ish, so I got some of the siding off, and of course, uh, uh, no insulation, no wonder I froze my butt off, anyway, so, just on course, I, there's problems, <laughs> well, here's one, let's see, Let's put a 2x6 on edge and we'll hold up the whole floor joist with that. Plus the second one in, just by that yellow line, it's not even touching. So basically I doubled up 2x6 and spanning 12 feet. Uh, no, no. And then we got dirt next to the mud seal, which is just a regular board, not even, you know, pressure treated. And the bonus part, let's see, let's see. Hey, I don't even think it's hooked on. <laughs> yeah, nice. Then we got wood from the old part touching the dirt. No, no. So all that's going away. New mud seal. I'm going to dig a footing right there, like a two by two. I don't know, put deep rebar, put a post and hanger to hold that up and then fix that so then here's part of the fruit cellar shelves get over there so here's the head stairs going down they filled that in when they did a remodel but at least it's got new plumbing and new wiring and a big hole so and a bunch of shelves so anyways old box old fruit box and there are more shelves. So we're going to take all these shelves out and all this little shelf right there out. And then <laughs> I'll run a string line and a laser to see how level this is before I run my first course. But So I got a little bit more to do before I start yanking more siding off. So anyways, have a nice day. <laughs> Hey guys, Mike here, November 14th, about, I don't know, 1.15 in the afternoon. So I poured this footing, rebar, two foot by two foot, ish. So I'll have to wait for that to dry. And then I poured that one down in there. So... Anyways, that was fun crawling way underneath there with the cement. So, anyways, just waiting for it to dry. So, I guess I could do other stuff. So, I know. Uh, anyway, so I got I'm gonna cut up that pile of wood there and throw all the bags of cement away and basically clean up and then uh, start aligning that pony wall down there just to see if it's straight. <laughs> Wish me luck. Bye. Mike here, November 15th, about 8.20 in the morning. So, 
I got to work on the foundation and put new um, posts in. But um, Sean gave me a great idea. She says, why don't you just use a matchbook cover and stick it under the mud seal to get it tight. I'm like, okay, but I don't have any match cover. So I got a uh, Kellogg's <laughs> Red Berries cardboard. So I'm going to fold that in half. But I made sure and wrote a note to the inspector. So Sean said I could use this cardboard to shim the mud seal so I'm just gonna put a date on it so anyways um, I'm gonna fold it up by hand and we're gonna slip it right underneath there so and then we're just gonna call it good you know oh, if I could get it in there maybe I only need two maybe it's not as thick as I need oh yeah I'll just need to trim it off a little bit, and I'm thinking that, call it good. So, thanks for the idea, Sean. Appreciate it. So, yesterday I took the box underneath that covered all these wires, and all those wires were going through that 1x12 and the piece of trim. So, I had to cut it, splice the wood just to get it out of there. So, anyways, I'll have to make a new box around there that's watertight what they had was a plywood piece of junk so anyways uh got to take the foam boards off my concrete footings today and put some four by four posts so yay so talk to you later bye hey mike here again november 14th about 9 30 an hour from my last video so anyway, so I got my Buddha jack underneath there, and I got the weight off, so I just cut. I don't really want to put too much weight on this new footing just yet, but I just put it there just in case. <laughs> that jack bail, so I just cut a short board, 4x4, four four and put it underneath there. So I got the weight off, so I already cut the nails on the studs all the way across, so... And then I cut this one. I wanted to see what it is. So, so we can pull it out here. And that's why you don't have dirt on your mud seal. Look at this. It's like half of the board is rotten off. So, of course, there's a big freaking crack right there. So maybe I'll put some silicone shit in there. Anyway, so I just got to pull the rest of it out and then put a new mud seal. And we'll put the weight down a little bit just to see. I don't think I need to put any more studs in there. They might be long enough, but they might not. So, anyways. So, fun, fun, fun. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye.